Remember that in many cases, with close quarter attacks, you're probably going to have to fend off the initial attack with your empty hands before you can even have time to access your weapon. So if that's the way you're going to have to fight, you might as well practice that way. Great way to do that, get yourself one of these inexpensive striking pads, work with a buddy, have him hold the pad, you work out on the pad, and then turn and fire at the target. A couple of key things to remember for safety on running that drill. Obviously, the buddy holding the, the striking pad has to be in a completely opposite direction from your line of fire when you go to turn on the target. Second, there is a technique to using these pads safely. They need to be sucked in real tight to you, like that. Many inexperienced people try to hold them out away from them and they just wind up getting hurt. If you don't know how to use one of these pads, get instruction from someone that does. That bag drill can serve another purpose as well. If you hit the bag for a while before you turn and shoot, you will wind yourself. And that's a good thing, because in a street fight, you may very well be winded before you can access your firearm. In fact, it's a standard drill in most shooting schools, and certainly in police training, to have the shooter run, run a fair distance so that they actually wind themselves quite a bit before they have to make a timed shot. Now well, that does two things. It doesn't duplicate, but it does replicate some of the stress you'll be under, the, the elevated heart rate, etc., etc. And it does, in fact, duplicate the winding that you may very well feel in a real fight.